Hey, did y'all hear that story on the news? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be more specific. It's the one about the billionaire who's launching a trip to Mars. Did you hear about that? Yeah. All right. They're spending a billion dollars to go to Mars, and I guess that's because there's nothing left to do down here. We've fixed all the freeways and the <laughs> traffic, the airplanes are running on time, so we should spend a billion dollars to do that. Um, the billionaire is not going. Um, he's sending someone normal, like a hundred or a thousandaire. And <laughs> I'm not sure he's going to get a lot of volunteers, because listen to what the trip entails, if you don't know. This is, uh, this is really what is going to happen. You will travel in a small capsule half the size of an RV. The whole trip will take 501 days. There are no showers, limited food rations, only one room, and you're drinking water made from your own recycled sweat. It still sounds better than that last Carnival Cruise, but, <laughs> you know, I mean. Uh, they're saying the best candidates for the trip are a married couple. Who here would uh, go to Mars with your spouse? <laughs> How many would return with your spouse? <laughs> I'm sure there's some single candidates that you could send to Mars, like people who love Star Trek, because A, they love space, and B, they can go years without a relationship. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I think it would be hard for a married couple to be together for that long, because you'd run out of things to talk about. Honey, how was your day? Exactly the same as yours. <laughs> I don't care how great your relationship is, 501 days is a long time to spend with your spouse. You know how when you go to dinner and you get in one of those stupid little fights and the car ride home is a little awkward? <laughs> That's usually like 20 minutes. Imagine lasting 489 days. <laughs> It'd be hard to keep the romance up too because you, know, you ask your spouse if they notice anything different about you and they say, yeah, you haven't showered in 81 days. <laughs> But the worst part about being gone that long is all the television you'd miss. Can you imagine going 501 days without seeing me dance?